Spangle, 3rd the Island, 34 right, 738. Skyway 5285, turn left heading 080. Left heading 080, Skyway 5285. Reduce speed to 250, comply with speeds on the arrival. Comply with public speeds on the arrival, Skyway 5148. Uh, over tower, Skyway 5186. Left turn 070, Skyway 5931. Uh, one three thousand with information. Sky with fifty five twenty one, maintain one seven zero knot between court. One seven eight of course, guys fifty five twenty one. Sky with fifty five thirty eight, maintain one seven zero knot between court. One seven eight of course, guys fifty five thirty eight. Final descent and maintain one three thousand. Thirteen thousand, frontier flight three nine three. Frontier flight 393, main team 250 or not. 250 on the speed, Frontier flight 393. Denver approach out for 6877, flight level 240, descending via the crash 35 left, Yankee. Southwest 6877, Denver approach, change your runway, expect vectors off of the arrival, for the ILS runway 34 right. 34 right now, Southwest 6877. Guys, 5931, contact approach 133.62. 13362, Skyway 5931, good day. 2285, just verify, reduce speed to 210. Uh, 22, United 2285, reducing speed to 210 knots. Uh, it's okay if we're high on the uh, crossing restrictions. Appreciate it. Delta 991, Denver approach, Denver altimeter 3008. Zulu is current, expect dial of approach, runway 35 right. 3008, uh, 35 right now, they just told us 35 left. Uh, Delta 991, negative. It's dial of approach, runway 35 right, as if they should be assigning up there. I'll verify that with them. Roger, ILS 35 right, thank you. Southwest 4038, contact approach 120.8 today. 4038, yes, that's 4038. Southwest 4038, 116411. Southwest 5931, turn left heading 060, descend to maintain 12000. Left turn 060, descend to maintain 10000, Skyway, uh, or 12000, Skyway, 5931. 5629. Southwest 6877, maintain 2509. 259, Southwest 6877. Approach 92363 out of 14,300, descending via the ski, we are told 34 right. United 2363, Denver approach, that's correct, Planet ILS, runway 34 right approach. Planet United 2363. Cross 5964, we saw the field at 16 miles. Uh, Scout 5964, thank you. Scout 5285, maintain 170 on off the court. Maintain 170 on off the court, Scout 5285. Skyway 5931, turn left heading 020, descend and maintain 10,000. Left turn 020, descend and maintain 10,000, Skyway 5931. Approach runway 35 right. Alright, uh, we'll fly heading 325, join the uh, final approach course, clear visual approach 35 right, Skyway 5629. 234, same via the flood. So it's uh, 5545 Denver approach, Denver altimeter is 3008, and Zulu is current. Change your transition, expect dial approach runway 35 right. All right, uh, 35 right, this guy is 5545. Roger, 523, 267 on the logger with Zulu, 351. Roger, 5523, Denver approach, Denver altimeter is 3009, or Zulu is current, you expect dial approach runway 35 right. All right, back to three five right. Okay, they're telling everybody three five left. Yeah, we're trying to fix that over there. I don't, I don't know where that came from, but it should be Atlas <laughs> three five right. Sorry for the multiple changes there. That's okay. Clear to the ILS three four right approach. Go with the fifty nine thirty one. United twenty three sixty three. Fly heading zero eight zero. Back to the final. Descend to maintain one two thousand. Speed two ten. All right, zero zero ten. Descend maintain one two twelve thousand. United twenty three sixty three. Heading. 
300, descend and maintain 9000. Heading 300, descend 9000, Skywest 5148. Skywest 5629, towers on 133.3, good day. 333, happy holidays, Skywest 5629. Skywest 5931, maintain 170 knots, time, our correction to course. 170 to course, Skywest 5931. That was 4657, turn left heading 080. 080, Skywest 4657. United 2363, reduce speed to 190. 190, United 2363. That was 5964, contact tower 135.3. 35, Skywest 5964, good day. 325 to join funnel. 325 to join, clear result 35 right southwest for 43 days. I was 5148, so let me know when you have the airport. It's currently uh, 1 to 2 o'clock and 2 8 miles. I will let you know, Skywest 5148. United 2363, descend and maintain 10,000. Descend and maintain 10,000, United 2363. Present heading down to 9,000 south of 2041. Road to intercept the localizer. Cross Bengal at 10,000. Clear to ILS, runway 34, right approach. 020 to intercept the localizer. Cross Bengal above 10,000. Clear to the ILS. Uh, 34, right. Got it. 4, 6, 6, 6. American, 2185. Full on out. United 2285, traffic 1 to 2 o'clock and 3 miles eastbound. It's an Airbus climbing to 10,000 below you on the departure. Contact approach 120.8. You have a good uh, afternoon. 120.8, good afternoon to you. Looking for traffic, United uh, 2285. Delta 2377, reduce speed to 210. Slow 210, Delta 2377. 5, zero knots to court. Zero knots are greater to front. 170 are great and still from Shore Scout West 5323. 4038, Tower 133.3. 5323, take care. So 4038. Approach United 2285, 12-2, descending as the long swan arrival. They're doing 210 knots of time. Skywest 5148, turn rating at 325, they're reporting now 1 o'clock and 2 0 miles. Heading 325, uh, we're just in some ragged bases here for Skywest 5148. American 2185, reduce speed to 190. Slow to 190, American 2185. United 2285, approach running 35, right? 35, right. United 2285. 363, maintain 17, zero not to 2 4. 170 to court, United 2363. Frontier 393, Denver approach, fly heading 280, vector to final, descend to maintain 100,000. Connected to pilot hatch. Now to 10,000, 280, and by the way, we have 250 on the speed, Frontier 5, 3, 9, 3. Frontier 393, reduce speed to 210. 1 to 2, 5148 as the airport site. 5148, sliding 325 to join final, clear visual approach, turning 35 right. Maintain present speed, please. We'll maintain 210 knots, heading 325 to join the localizer, clear for the visual 35 right. Sky 5148. Sky with 5323, towers 133.3, have a good night. 3334, Sky with 5323, see ya. American 2185, descend and maintain 9000. Descend and I, American 2185. Southwest 2041, let me know when you have the airport. Currently 1 o'clock and 2 5 miles. 2041, Roger. 70, not 170, heading now. Let's go. Where's your mic here at Denver Approach? Good afternoon. It is Lima Current Centennial. Expect the ILS 35 right approach. Descent 8000, southwest 2041. This is via Wazoo. Uh, Southwest 4165, Denver Approach, Denver Route 2300, expect ILS Approach, 135, right? Expect 35, right, ILS, Southwest 4167. Delta 2377, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles eastbound, and the Southwest going 737, be stopped below you at 100,000. Delta 2377, looking. Delta 2377, contact Approach on 120.8, you have a fantastic afternoon. 20, definitely. Good day, Delta 2377. Delta 1725, maintain 2509. 350, Delta 1725. 
23 five right there's traffic out to your right and two miles east on a Boeing 737 leveling at 10,000. So 2377 is looking. Fields in sight south of 2041. South 21. 2041, present heading to join final, clear visual approach on a 35 right. Present heading to join final, clear visual 35 right, southwest 2041. 4 right, localized. 330 on the heading to intercept the localizer for 34 right, Frontier Flight 393. Salvo 6877, fly heading 29 or 0, reduce speed to 210. Heading 290, slow to 210, southwest 6877. United 2285, American 2185, the airport will be 3 o'clock and 1 minute mile. Inside American 2185. Hail arrival out of 215, and uh, we have Zulu. Zulu 493, number 1st, number 2 approach, we're only 3 5, right? LS 34, right approach, Frontier Flight 393. 3. Zulu 493. All right, how's everyone doing today? Let me get this overlay here. Okay. So we are doing FS Economy today. Let's figure out the weight. We get this weight figured out on the plane. Payload. Let's take off all these covers. Yeah. So I'll do 200 on these passengers up front because FS economy. It's tricky when it comes to the weights in this TBM. Got to get it all set up first. FS Economy does 170 per passenger. So that would be seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'd be sixty. So we're gonna go. I think it's a hundred and ten. Yeah, I could put a hundred and ten there. So that'd be a hundred and sixty ten. Do ten pounds there. So that should match Simbrief. I mean, uh, this economy, which is a payload of 1188. Let's break out my calculator. 200. Actually, let's do one, two, three, four. 680 plus 400 plus 120. That's not right. Be... <sighs> so one, two, three, four. So one seventy times seven is eleven ninety. My math ain't working today. 
Oh, that's 1190. So if I do 400, actually 170 times 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 680 plus 400 plus 110 is 1190. Okay, so we got the weight down. So that would be. 110. Main thing is, is having these figures inside the envelope for CG. And I need fuel, so I'll open those up. I'll figure out what our fuel is going to be. Um, So we need to figure out a, I'm going to do an IFR today. So we're going CMA to Ontario and I rented a TBM. So we have to do a tech route. So we could do a tech route. I'm just going to cheat though. Um, you can find it here in the supplement, which is the FAA supplements. You can find it that way. Under the Southwest, this one, terminal and route, something. Tower and route control is what tech stands for. So I could look it up on this sheet but i'm going to use this cheater first so cma caramello we're going to ont that's our tech route which I already plugged in what this means is we have to be on the uh, vtu which is VTU is this VOR, which is the Ventura VOR. So that's showing we have to be on the 44 radial. So that'd be 044 radial. So we follow that radial to Gina. So 044 would be, uh, go away. It's like a compass, right? So zero four. So you can see that's zero six five. So that's three. So four would be here. So you would do basically this radial from here to here. So I'll drag it down. That's kind of what the radial would look like. So we would take off and we're going to be right our vectors to this radial or uh, Gina, but we'll set up the radial. Um, actually, it, yeah, we'll have to set up the radial to make sure we intercept the right one, but it's just the radial of this VOR to Ventura radio, uh, to Gina, and then we'll follow all these uh, airways. And this is the tech route that we're going to use. We are in M class turboprop, so we're going to file 7,000 feet. So, I didn't worry about the radio. I just want to get our fuel. I did everything else.
so field for the TBM is 775. So we divide by 6.5, which is the weight of the fuel per gallon. So bump that up to 120. And 120 divided by our half of that is 60. So I'm just going to do 140, give a little bit of extra fuel. So we'll come down here and we'll uh, refuel. And we'll use that to 140 gallons or refuel our TBM. Now we're 140, so we're final in fuel. We're going to file the tech route altimeter. It's 3015. And that's with Victor, and we are departing on 8. Ontario is landing on the two sixes. That can't be right because the wind was crazy earlier. Two eight zero at five. Oh, it slowed down a lot. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> that was breezy earlier, that's for sure. All right, uh, which we're going to file this tech route. And the tech route is this. And we need to do it all just like it's wrote there. TBN slant golf for GPS, 7,000. Uh, all that is fine, so we'll file the tech route. So that should be on file. And we are there. There we go. It's on file. Let's come back over to our airplane. All right. Oops. I already have my Allegiant up. I was flying Allegiant the other day. All right, so we got that. I do need to add the fuel. So we'll close these caps, close that door. Okay, so now, according to my little, I have an app for the TBM. So fuel is 170. So now the weight and balance is that didn't keep. Interesting. All right, so I need two pilots, four passengers. And we are going from CMA to ONT at 7,000 feet, IFR. So 110, yeah, 110, 170, 170, 170. I have to fill out all this crap. 
zero. LMT, CMA, two pilot, four passengers. Okay, weight and balance, 170. So that gives me a takeoff weight of 6927. That is way off. Why is that way off? Hundred and seventy. Hundred and forty. Oh, I had the uh, wrong fuel, that's why. Six seven two six. There we go. Now I'm golden. All right, so weight and balance is set. So come up here, and we're looking at 2.9 CG. Um, so we'll come to FS Economy. We'll start the flight. It's that way. still 2.9 so you got to set up the plane before you actually do it so the cg is all right now we can hop in here and we'll shut this uh door give it a look Okay, um, it's seventy three degrees. We're gonna do a battery start today. Let me check my uh, maintenance real quick. Engine is fine. Landing gear, brakes are all good. Electric is fine. The battery is good, so we can do a battery start. Avionics are good. Lights are good. Airframe is good. All that is good. Okay, maintenance is a go. We'll go ahead and shut this door. Set the brake. Turn on the nav light, lift crash bar, put that on battery. All the nav data is now accurate because I'm using the beta build of this plane, which corrects the nav data from the uh, the release version. Plus, you don't have all the uh, Aural warning. Okay. all the other issues that comes with that. The stuttering is gone. It's pretty pretty solid now. System test. Okay. We have more than 24 volts on the battery, so we're good there. We're going to go to revisionary screen for startup. So we have all the engine stuff here because this is powered by the battery. This, If you lose power, this screen may go away. So you want engine info. I will turn on the pulse light for engine start people know around us that we're going to be kicking up the engine. Turn on these lights. We'll go AUX PP. 
So we have already boost boost pump is on. I'm going to do the stopwatch to start the engine. Uh, engine start briefing. We're going to add fuel at 14 ng at uh, 950 itt. We'll abort. If we add fuel, we'll abort by re removing the fuel. Before adding fuel, we will abort by the switch up top. We need 25 ng within 30, 53 within 60. Gen power should be on by then. All right. Timer, starter. Wait for 14 ng. We'll introduce fuel. Adding fuel. Keeping an eye on the uh, ITT and the ng. We're gonna get 25 ng within 30 or within 30 seconds. Yep, within 30. ITT topped out at 740. Get another blast here. There we go. Turn on the inert separator. Oil pressure is in the green. Put that to auto, auto, and auto. And then we'll check, make sure it switches tanks, which it does. Move the prop to flight idle. Engines are good, revisionary off. Turn on the bleed air, air conditioning. Got our systems, electric, running off the battery. We're gonna switch to main. Running off the main gen, we're gonna check the standby gen. Standby, we have main gen alert. Go back to main, back on main. Fuel is fine. Turn on our uh, weather. And I'm going to download this flight plan because I'll make it easier to load it. Pressure is right, turn the pulse light off so we don't blind everybody. They can tell the engine's starting now. Fuel should be even 69 69. Oxygen, uh, we'll leave that off. We don't need oxygen at 7,000 feet. Synthetic vision is good. Next ride is on. Systems are checked. Pre-flight is good on there. Pre-taxi, flight plan is on file. Let's check our ATIS, which is 126.02. ATIS information, Victor. 19 or 55 Zulu. Wind 060 at 21, gust 27. Visibility minor. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 23, dew point minus 14, altimeter 3015, arriving and departing runway 8, our NUV runway 8 approach and use, read backhaul runway assignment and hold short instruction, advise on initial contact you have information Victor. Camarillo Airport, 8 is information Victor, 1955 Zulu, wind 060 at 21. Gust 27. 
Visibility Niner. Sky condition, clear. Temperature 23. Dew point minus 14. Altimeter 3015. Arriving in parting runway A. All right, 121.8 is ground, so we'll get that set up in a minute. And let me switch that. We'll turn up uh, this volume to 80% also. And uh, we need the 044 radial, so actually let me punch in the flight plan first. Uh, so we're gonna do CMA ONT enter. So we just need the radial to get the Ginny. So we can do that by going to VOR. We'll change the course. Um, first, that VOR is. One oh eight twenty. Pop that over there. And let's oh four four. So that's the radial zero four four. And that is uh let's go ahead and identify that. It's not even the right Oh yeah, it is VTU Ventura. So we're identifying properly. Synthetic vision. Uh, turn that on with terrain. Okay. Um, feel elevation here is. Caramello, Car Caramello, Camarillo, Camarillo, 76. So we're right on the money there, right on the money there. We are facing 080, matches the compass, so avionics are correct. Tower is 0 0.8, uh, tower, I mean, uh, ground's 0 0.8, tower is 128.2. So let's get 128, 28.2, this tower, Pretty quiet. Oh, there's not a lot of people online, so I guess that's why. Interesting. Alright. Good afternoon, Camarillo Ground, TBM 1399, GA Rant with Victor, IFR, Ontario. To Ontario via initial heading 275 vectors for Ventura radial 44. Maintain 4000, expect 7000 within 10. Departure 124.7, squawk 2165, 1399. So get Ontario. Uh, that's not right. Oh, that is right. That's Ontario. Duh. So I don't know why it's CMA Camarillo. I had a 
spin it twice, I guess. All right, so tower is 128.2, ground 0.8, so that is all correct. Okay. We got slant alpha to start. Flight plan is good. Elevation at Ontario is 944. As long as that is close and matches, then we're good. Autopilot, we're going to climb, maintain 4,000. We do heading, vertical speed, 2,000 feet per minute. And the initial heading she said is 275. 275. 275. Decision altitude, field elevation will set flaps for takeoff. Trim is right here. We need to set the trim right there in the middle. Takeoff flaps are set. Transponder code 2165. Transponder, altitude, we're going to be taxiing here. Cast messages are normal. Cabin temperature should be okay. We're at 23 Celsius for the cabin temp. Santa Barbara clearance to November 582, Victor Bravo, Robinson, R66 St. Gulf. We'd like a VFR departure to the north at 3,000 feet. Negative uh, radar services lights. with information on. Twenty-two Romeo Bravo, Smash Ground. How you said Alpha or Oscar? Ada. Information Oscar five eight two Victor. Camarillo, put on the airport here. There we go. The five eight two Victor Bravo, Santa Barbara clearance. So Roger, stand by. Victor Bravo and departure fly runway heading maintain VFR at or below 1,500 televised. Departure frequency 120.55 and squawk 12. Correction. Okay. Uh, squawk. Got control. This one now. 1427. Let's do a feather check. Okay, on departure fly heading, uh, runway heading, maintain VFR at or below 1,500 until advised. Squawk frequency 120.55, squawk 1427, November 582, Victor Bravo. Good feather. I'm going to do a U turn here. Alright, two, Victor Bravo, read back correct. Uh, confirm you said your helicopter 412 or 406. I am a uh, Robinson R66 link. Alright, two, Victor Bravo, Roger. Uh, if you're looking for present position departure, contact tower. Okay, we'll go to tower 582 Victor Bravo. Going to beta mode here. Get her uh, ATIS again. One five, arriving and departing runway eight. Our nav runway eight approach and use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. Caramello ground TPM one three nine nine South GA with Victor radio taxi. Runway 26, correction. Uh, runway 8, taxi via Foxtrot Echo. Runway 8 via Foxtrot Echo 1399. Alright, let's go. Foxtrot Echo. So I guess Foxtrot's this first one. Yeah. Three 
1399 or guide. Departure fly runway heading, still reaching 500 feet, then a right turn heading 230. The runway heading till 500 feet, then heading 230 for 1399. Alright, so we're going to sit. Good afternoon, Holly Clark, delivery, air right 116 Quebec is on the ground as Laughlin with information. Uh, Golf IFR to Prescott. 2.30. We're just moving along right here. Prescott Airport, runway 34 departure procedure to Needles as filed. I need to change the expect runway. Expect in a minor file one minutes after departure. On my uh, app here, so uh, departure. Angels, frequency 134.65, clock 3267. That's going to be a slight crosswind, but not Air nothing right, major. Well, like it's clear to Prescott. Uh, find the, the runway 34 departure and Victor 1, 2, then it's filed. Climb and maintain 7,000, expect 9,000, 10 minutes after departure. Knots. Departure frequency 134.65, squad 3267, A116, go back. A16, go back, read back, correct. Center Burba Tower, helicopter 582, Victor Bravo, the northwest heli bed with that present position departure to the north. We're going to rotate at uh, about 95 knots. Actually, about 100 knots because we are fully loaded. Center 582 to Bravo, Center Bravo Tower. Uh, present position departure is approved at your own risk. Use caution. Uh, join the upwind for runway 25, continue runway heading, and uh, advise airborne. I'll get to butcher at my own risk and we'll join the point runway 25, I basically. Turn on the uh, strobes and pulse light. Pedo heats are on, don't need icing. We are trimmed and flaps are set. Cast messages are normal. No alerts. Everything's in the green. We don't need to do a run up, so we're going to switch to tower, which is 128.2. Put that at flight idle to keep the engine cooler. All right, tower is 128.2. Departure is. Skyhawk November. 24-7 at the east ramp I would like to request flight following to Kilo Lima Alpha X-ray at 9,500 306 flash shots on last ground departure per, uh, frequency 120.55 and squawk 1545. Say aircraft type. Can you repeat the departure frequency, please, for Kilo 6 Foxtrot? Six zero six five shot frequency one two zero point five five. I'm gonna turn off my camera for a little bit. Departure one two zero point five five and a squad well, I'll five turn five it off four once five. Again the air because I need to have some lunch. I'm gonna eat, but no one wants to see someone eat nor hear them eat. So 
I'll mute my microphone and turn off the camera while I'm having my lunch. Camarillo Tower, TBM 1399, holding short runway 8. Thirty five eight two Victor Bravo, uh, your radar contact, contact SoCal, the correction of Santa Barbara departure. Over to your posture, helicopter 582 Victor. Hey, John Wayne Clarence, Cessna 612 Alpha Bravo, IFR to Santa Monica with information whiskey for the I-4. Off, we'll come out here. Six six one two Alpha Bravo, John Wayne Clearance, clear to Santa Monica Airport. On departure, fly heading two three zero. Radar vectors to the beach. As filed, maintain two thousand. Expect six thousand one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two eight point one. Squawk four four zero three. Do runway heading to five hundred. Okay, clear to uh, Santa Monica. Uh, after departure, fly it'll be a right runway. turn. Uh, fly heading 230, expect the fixers, as to the beach, VOR, the green, and then as filed, um, altitude 2000, Head expect 6000, uh, departure frequency 128.1, and squawk 4403. Set 4 the torque for 90, because it will increase as we get faster. Looking for 100 knots rotate. Towards 100 knots, rotate. Gear up. Flaps out. Zero nine or six eight. We went taking off right tower runway two nine right. Clear to land. Swing calm. Clear to land two nine right. Clear nine six eight. Let me take off. Zero. Even one three nine nine or contact point Magoo departure. Over two point Magoo departure one three nine nine. Should be one twenty four point seven. We'll make a right turn toward two hundred thirty. Point Magoo departure, TBM 1399, climbing 1200 for 4000. TBM 1399, Point Magoo departure, radar contact, climb maintain 7000. Climb maintain 7000, 1399. And we'll go up to 7000 here. Gear is up, flaps are up. say 2.30, so why am I going the opposite direction? I don't know. I'll turn the, uh, the all the yaw dampers on and verify. That comes on automatically with the autopilot. Get to 80. Mark 32 Foxtrot Delta, contact SoCal approach 135.4. 135.4, 32 Foxtrot. SoCal approach, Mark 32 Fox Delta, level 8500. Okay, 32 Foxtrot Delta, SoCal approach, Ontario altimeter 3014. 80%. Turn on the timer, close the dirt separator. And Helicopter 582, Victor Bravo, exit in the Class Charlie airspace to the north, remain outside Class Charlie airspace. Radar services terminated. Squawk and maintain VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk and maintain VFR and frequency change approved. 582, Victor Bravo. TBM 1399, turn right heading 3, correction, turn right heading 360 vectors for Van Nuys. 
Right turn heading 360, vectors for Van Nuys, 1399. Right turn. Looks like the torque is shot up like I thought it would. Yeah, I'm on my service is terminated. Squawk in, maintain VFR for exchange approved. 360, so due north. And then we'll switch to GPS. We're going to get a direct here in a moment. We'll, uh, turn that off. We'll turn off the pulse light. Actually, I'll leave it on. This is busy airspace. TBM 1399, clear direct Van Nuys. Clear direct Van Nuys, 1399. So we're going to make a right turn and we're going to go flight plan. BNY, menu, activate, direct to activate, and then have flight plan. There we go. Citation 510, try and Mike, send via the Hollywood One arrival. Ontario, altimeter 3014, you can delete the speed restrictions. Have to keep an eye on the torque. Set it right about. 94, that should hold it. Come back here and we'll open up this table. Got these uh, storage bins. Got oxygen. Oh, they fall out. So the pilots, you can pull those down if you need to. Of course, mine is there. Got coffee cups. Have our traffic set at six miles. I'll get an alert if we get close to anything. The weather radar's off. Don't need weather radar. Alta Barbara Departure, Skyhawk, November 6306, Fox Trot, uh, 2400. So, I last two six left. Zach 6306, Fox Trot, Santa Barbara Departure. Make sure you got your transponder turned on, please. I don't see you out there. Roger. 11135. I wonder if that will set by putting it in. Procedure, approach. ILS 26 left and uh, we'll go from Paradise. Is Paradise a waypoint on our plan? Yes. So we could do a approach from Paradise. The ILS is minimum is 200, but it would be. Um, Arrow, SB eleven twenty six. So we'll 
11.30. Go ahead and load that. That way it will show. Paradise to Pettis? Hikro? Oh, that's cool. Hikro and then Taco? Oh, Pettis. We're 6306 Fox, just still can't see your transponder, sir. We can't provide you flight following unless you have your transponder turned down. Then you can't. Percy. Cool. So we'll just have to activate that when we I'm get there. I'm working on it. Push this out to 12 miles. And Paradise. Say. 306 box track. Uh, verify is block 1545. I'll say Paradise 6000. One five four five zero six box truck. One three nine nine contact SoCal approach one three four point two. SoCal approach one three four point two one three nine nine three four two. Pop that over. SoCal approach TBM one three nine nine seven thousand. TVM 1399 so SoCal Purge, Burbank out 7 Come back over here and we want Paradise at 6000. Gives us a 14 minute flight. All right, I'm going to mute my microphone and have my lunch and I'll be right back. This is a Skyhawk November 6, 306 Fox Road. It's the transport, the transponder working now? No, it is not. SoCal departure Cessna 612 Alpha Bravo is at 1,200, climbing 2,000. Six one two Alpha Bravo, SoCal departure, radar contact, climb maintain 6,000. Climb and maintain 6,000 to Alpha Bravo. Call Birch Mark ID three two Fox Shot Delta, we've got an Ontario on site. Three two Fox Shot Delta Roger. Contact Ontario Tower one two zero point six, keep your code. Twenty point six, keep the code, two Fox Shot Delta.
Right, 116 Quebec, Los Angeles Center, radar contact. Climb maintain, uh, radar contact over Bullhead Airport, climb maintain 900,000. Alright, now that I'm done with my lunch, I want to put in the Paradise VOR so I can see how close we are to that place. So we're going to do, let's punch that on Nav 2 instead, so 112.2, and we'll pop that over there, <coughs> and then we'll go Berg 2. Get rid of bird one. And uh, it's nav two, which is 112.2. 112.2. Paradise is identified. So we are 40 miles from Paradise. BOR. The actual approach is kind of cool because the last waypoint of our um, flight plan here is the first way is the initial approach fix that we can do. So we'll come up here and we got uh, two six left. Actually, it'll be this one. We're not doing Cat three in a TBM. But the, this VOR, I don't want to just dial in. It's an IAF, so initial approach fix. That means you can start an approach from any IAF. So, like, this is an IAF, and uh, so you, and so is Taco Taco. So you can start this approach from any one of these published start points. So we'll start from here, and then we'll go to Higro, and then we're going to go to Pettis, and then Yokok, whatever, down to uh, 3,000 at Tersey, whatever, uh, here. And then that's when we'll capture the uh, glide slope down to Ontario. So I'm going to ask for this because it'd be kind of fun to, it's 11 miles out of the way, but might as well do it. Be faster to just do a visual. I could do left left traffic for like two six left or something, but this would be kind of fun to try it. So we'll see. Two hundred minimums. I already plugged all that in. So that is the plan as of now, but of course that can change depending on what happens here in the future. So Hey, the factor. Can you help That's me? That's the to approach. I already I got it. My squad code. Plugged in from Paradise, so it comes out. Does this little turn up here? We're here. I'm assuming it's uh, zero six six Foxtrot. Zero six Foxtrot negative. I cannot. I mean, it's um, just a 
a, a basic function that you'll need, you'll need to uh, check the website or, or, or uh, email support at pilotage.net. Roger. Okay. Um. 24, 25, let's make sure they are still landing on two sixes. Point minus seven, altimeter three zero one four, arriving and departing runways two six left, two six right, visual approaches in use, ILS runway two six left, runway two six right approach in use, simultaneous approaches to parallel runways in use, VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information echo. Ontario International Airport, ATIS information. All right, you're good with echo. It's loading in the scenery, so it's a little choppy there for a second. And tower is 120.6, but I might get another uh, frequency change. Let me see what the approach frequency is on that chart. 127.0. So I will get that on the ready in case they use it. So Cal says to 14008, climbing 5000 on 175 heading. If I need to go missed. We will do... 14008, SoCal departure, ready to contact. We'll climb to 2000... 612 Alpha Bravo, turn right, heading uh, 020, join Victor 8. Uh, turn right, <coughs> 020, uh, 2 Alpha Bravo. 2 Alpha Bravo on that heading, join Victor 8. 22... You say join negate? Negative, join Victor 8, airway, Victor 8, airway. Yep, join Victor 8, uh, 2 Alpha Bravo, and turning right, heading 020. 2200, left turn to 4000, direct to Paradise. So, climb to 2200 feet, and then we go straight back to Paradise. That's if we end up going missed for whatever reason. Uh. If he gives me vectors, um, one four zero zero eight. If I get uh, so I party, vectors before I get close to paradise, one four zero zero eight flight and one zero zero joining Victor twenty three. Then I'll just do the visual. One zero zero joining Victor twenty three. One four zero zero eight. Air Baron five eight pop Victor ready to check. Fuel is even, so we're good there. Getting close. Go ahead and close these uh, tables. Cabin temp. It's 21.5. You can check the uh, weather here. So we got weather 280 at 7, so pretty much right down the runway. Uh, it's clear. This is the TAF. ILS 26 left. Pop that over. <coughs> That's our chart. 
so we can just have that popped up when we need to. Close am I to paradise? Uh, eight miles. So cow approach TBM one three nine nine. I have an approach request. I like to pass on. One three nine nine. Contact SoCal approach uh, one three five point four. What's your request? So cow one three five point four one three nine nine. Three five point four. And we are current with echo. So Cal approach TBM one three nine nine seven thousand. Current with Echo. Request ILS two six left practice approach from the Paradise VOR. TBM one three nine nine uh, so Cal approach cross Paradise five thousand or above. Cleared ILS runway two six left approach Ontario altimeter three zero one four. Cross Paradise at or above five thousand. Cleared ILS two six left approach and three zero one four one three nine nine. So approach Baron 58 Pop Victor Go to Paradise. Baron 58 Pop Victor, read, read you loud and clear. Here we go, heading. I'm going to pop that over here. And we're going to menu, activate leg, back to nav. Okay. So now we need to. Take this down to do VNAV, and we're going to take it down to 2900. Vertical track. And that will bring us down. And tower is 120.6, so we'll get that on the ready. We'll take out some of the RPM because we'll increase torque as we descend. 120.6, tower is set. The altimeter is 30.14, so we'll set that. And the ILS is one 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 three five, so we're gonna do. And never mind, it's already automatically plugged in there. One three nine nine uh, report turning inbound. We'll report inbound one three nine nine. So I have to report to SoCal when I'm inbound. So that just means when I make that turn up here at uh, Pettis inbound, that's when I'll report inbound. Inbound to the airport. So we'll turn on that light there. The air is definitely choppy up here. Next button we'll do is approach. Where is that? Oh, there it is. APR. So the heading, I'm going to make a left turn, so we'll say so Cal 180, we'll right. say 170. Uh, just making sure we're cleared through the restricted zone at 5,000, and also requesting the RNAV 9 or left. Actually, so we'll do eight. When you're runway IFR, heading. The, uh, your IFR clearance is what clears you through the it's all those airspace, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, what's the request again? Appreciate that. Uh, RNAV 099 or left into Gillespie 14008. 008, where would you like to start from? I'd like to start from 
Callus Karif. Turn on that. Zero, zero eight, Roger, have your request. I'll, uh, the next sector will have your approach clearance for you. Roger, one four zero zero eight. Okay, pressure differential is 1.7. We're fine there. Fuel is good. 180 knots. We can drop the gear. Put so the approach um, five eight, Papa Victor. Range to five. five. IFR clears to Victor. Returning inbound. SoCal approach, TBM 1399, turning inbound now. TBM 1399, Roger, contact on Terra Tower 120.6, have you land? Terra Tower 120.6, 1399, 20.6. Laps. That's great. Dual communication is back. And we need to take this down to 29. For 2 Fox Shot Delta, runway 26 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 26 left, Mark Shetty 3, 2 Fox Delta. Ontario Tower, TBM 1399, establishing a local hazard, 26 left. Tower 1399, Ontario Tower, runway 26 left, clear to land. Two six left, clear to land. One three nine nine. Yeah, Matos Tower, TBM seven two. Charlie is ready on three okay. zero right. This is all messed up. Two five eight. Tower seven two, Charlie Bakersfield Tower, runway three zero right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, thirty right. Uh, TBM seven two, Charlie. That's right. We're on the localizer, so we are good. Tower radio check, please. Sounds horrible. Some of those towers, some distortion, but you're uh, definitely loud. Maybe just a tad too loud, and uh, yeah, you're definitely readable. It's annoyingly loud. All right, we'll flip this thing up. Turn off the headset. So for my um, my YouTube friends, if you uh, liked this uh, video, please don't forget to click that like button on the bottom and or sub subscribe. It will only help our channel grow and helps YouTube uh, get my channel out there. Much appreciated you guys uh, watching though. Whoops, I'm gonna turn that off, not on. All right, so ground is 0.9er, so let me get 21.9er. Got that set. All right, we're gonna do three green. We got gear down, eight away, we're good. So our destination for 26 lift update the weather slight cross right wind that's fine we'll do flaps half here looks like the landing uh, is 85 knots across the numbers stall in a landing configuration would be 79 indicated. So 85 is our uh, touchdown Correct goal. Tower, Mark Eddie, Fox Delta, clear runway 26 left at golf, going south train. So we'll do uh, 95 across the numbers. 325 South Delta, taxi to Buck and Vehab. Here, have a wonderful day. Mark Vest here, thanks. Okay, 
There's too much stuff written Bobby in there. Bobby Sasa, 646, Charlie Bravo, hunting short runway 26 left, or left of the river departure. 3646, Charlie Bravo, Long Beach Tower, left crossing departure over the LA River, approved runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. Approved 26 left, 6 Charlie Bravo. Flex 4. Do you try? I gotta read this in chair for a minute or two. Can I just maintain present heading at 3 till I get back? 472 Charlie, contact me, still departure, sorry about that. Continuing. in the reverse range. Flaps out. Looks like we're exiting here at Tango. Always stop after the stop bar, not before. Okay. Turn off our stall and pedo stuff. Ontario Tower, TBM 1399, uh, South GA ramp. Park and via Sierra, monitor ground, 1399, thank you, too. And uh, point niner is ground, we'll turn off our strobes and such, and we'll turn on our timer, because we need two minutes at flight idle before we shut down the engine. Set the trend. San Bernardino Tower, uh, Mini 106 at X ray is clear of runway 6 at Alpha 1. Let's do that to get rid of the terrain so it's not so loud in our face. November 6, 8, X, A, taxi to, uh, actually, are you going to the west ramp or are you going to continue to the north east ramp? I'll park here at the west ramp. There is 6, 8, X, A, you can just pull ahead on the Alpha, join uh, the west ramp, monitor ground, have a wonderful day. I'll monitor ground, have a good day, 106, X, Ray. TM flies so much better now than it used to. The handling is better. I just really enjoy it now. It's so much easier to land than it was before. It was it was a pain in the ass to land before this update. And I don't know what he did. He tweaked it. But I freaking love how it flies now. Let's set our brake. We are at two minutes, so we are good on that. We'll turn off our taxi light. Icing is off. We'll turn off our environment. 
bleed air is off. Cabin diff should be zero. Yep. Inert separator. We'll turn that off. We'll go to low idle and close that. Takes about 30 seconds. We'll come up here. Auto power it off. Auto fuel selector off. We'll do fuel cut off in about 15 seconds. Let this windmill for a little bit. Help cool down the engine. Thirty seconds. Fuel cut off. Turn that off. I hear. Camarillo Tower, oh, channel, it's traffic Mr. local. Bravo 10 East with Zulu landing. It's the first time I've seen a civilian airplane in traffic global. I just updated this. Mr. It's got Bravo, some strange lighting uh, to Zulu, it. Join the That's all right. Airport, it's the first time I've seen one in traffic Left global. Down when, uh, zero eight report midfield characters in Micro. That's cool. Alright, oxygen should be up, which it is. We'll turn off the interior lights. We'll turn off the nav light. Crash bar down. And first things first is X economy will finish the flight so I can get paid. Add back the weight. Disconnected. Disconnect from that. And we'll do a replay. Okay, so we'll go there, and then we'll go here. I, to I, I did forget to turn off the autopilot for some reason, because I'm tired today or something. But uh, yeah, I turned it off about 200 feet above, so didn't really have time to trim for the landing. So I probably could have greased it, but I mean, it was a good landing. It wasn't hard or anything. Cool. All right, so. I'm going to write down these weights because that works pretty good. All right, so. 110, 200 on the front passengers, the rest of them 170. That gives us a good CG. So we'll turn on all these covers, the chalks, and that. I think I did set the brake. 
We'll turn that off. Press any key for battery power shut down in two minutes. Okay. All right. That's a wrap. Catch y'all later. Merry Christmas. I'll see you after Christmas. I don't think I'm going to stream before Christmas, so probably after Christmas. Y'all take care. Chase out. Here. I, I don't think it is uh, just due to the traffic ahead, but uh, let's do that one. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can do the uh, ILS. That's fine. 492. Romeo Kilo, Denver approach. Denver altimeter 3008. Back to the visual approach on a 1 2 left at Metro. 1 2 left at Metro, Citation 8, Romeo Kilo. Up the 3 4 right localizer, Southwest 6877. Southwest 2041, towers on 133.3, good day. Over the tower, Southwest 2041, good day. Southwest 3892, Denver approach, expect ILS runway 34, right? 8,000, Delta 2377. Citation 8, Romeo Kilo, descend to maintain 1, 2285, the airport will be 3 o'clock and 1 minute mile. 125, intercept the localizer. Let me know when you have the airport. Okay, we're heading out of 325, airport inside, United 2285. Thanks, heading 325 to join the final, clear the visual approach for night 35, right? 325 to join, uh, the final, clear for the visual, 35 right, United 2285. Delta 991, descend and maintain 8000. 8000, Delta 991. I've left there, they're supposed to be assigned 35 right, but expect ILS approach 35 right. Delta this, uh, 41, 31, 41, 37, thank you. That's for 137, sorry for having to move back and forth. You know, that's okay, and I think actually she did move us back to the right. That's for 137, right? Guys, 5103, contact approach 133.62. You have a wonderful day. 3362, have a Merry Christmas, 5103. 362, Scottish 4676. You're slow at practice.